It's I Am Second Day, and we're coming to you from the I Am Second offices in Plano, Texas. The building we're in is called the Hope Center, which is home to about 60 different Christian ministries and nonprofits. It's such a great facility for us to be in, different amenities and spaces that by ourselves, each ministry probably wouldn't be able to afford, but by joining together, we can do ministry alongside one another and learn from each other. And that's what we're doing with I Am Second Day. We don't live out our faith journey by ourselves, but alongside others who may go through many of the same things that we experience. I Am Second Day leans into that as we tell stories of how people form and strengthen their faith and in turn, inspire others in their own journey. And in a moment, we're gonna hear from one of our earliest seconds, Jim Monroe, whose story was just so impactful. But first, we wanna make sure you know how to share your own story. That's why at IamSecond.com, we have created a special video called Share Your Story that helps you learn how to shorten your testimony to 30 seconds or less, something I've even used in an elevator ride with someone. So just go to the homepage at IamSecond.com and find the link. And while you're there, don't forget to look at all the other content we will be posting all day and to consider supporting us financially. Now, let's turn this over to the longtime executive producer of I Am Second, John Humphrey, and our special guest, Jim Monroe. So here on I Am Second Day, we have the pleasure of speaking with our longtime good friend, Jim Monroe. Jim, I'd love to go ahead and just remind everybody about your story. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a long time ago. We filmed 14 <laughs> years ago. We were just <laughs> absolutely we were just remembering that. We were just starting out with I Am Second, really, around that time, and we had the opportunity to film you shortly after you had finished up treatments and were in remission for the blood cancer that you had experienced. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this, or give us the summation mm -hmm. of the born skeptic story that we produced for you. Yeah, so it was, I mean, that story, I, I still, I watch it today and I'm still just completely blown away by, it. I mean, like, was that really what happened? But it was, so I was diagnosed with leukemia um, and God, authored this incredible story through um, a bone marrow transplant where one person on the planet could save me of my disease. Um, and they, they found this person. Uh, this person was willing to go through with the, with the procedure. And um, after dying a death, receiving new blood, um, I came back to life essentially. And God just really did something so he he wrote a really really cool story through a really really tumultuous time and i got to share that all over the world actually so people have seen the metaphors that you used in there about how you were not just healed but given new life mm -hmm. through the blood and i guess you use that analogy when you did travel around through your magic shows mm -hmm. but tell us about that that metaphor and how you've applied it. Yeah, so um, a bone marrow transplant is a, a substitution of blood on someone's behalf. It's a reboot of their immune system. So like literally somebody else's life lives on the inside of me. Um, and that is as close to the gospel as, as I know. Um, and so um, being able to utilize that in a crazy magic show um, and taking that all over the world was just so ordained. It was such a God thing. I couldn't have written that, you know? And th then the other really cool thing was that um, we brought the National Marrow Registry with us everywhere. Um, now that they're called the NMDP.org, back then they were called Be The Match, they changed their name. But they came with us to these, these shows that I was doing all over the country, mostly on college campuses. And we were able to sign up thousands and thousands of people to the, to the marrow list. And I know of over, I think, 287 um, currently, I think that's the number since this I Am Second video came out and we went all over the world doing this. Uh, we were able to save 287 lives so far just from the people that signed up and donated from uh, coming to the show. So tell me a little bit about the, the magic show that you were doing at that time mm -hmm. and where you would go primarily. Yeah, yeah so the show is called The Maze. Um, we primarily were on college campuses. I, I started my Christian walk in college, or I started, I started it. Um, and I always wanted to talk to, I guess, myself. <laughs> I knew what that college student was thinking about their faith and whatnot. It's a, it's a crazy time for people as they kind of restructure their belief systems. And so we did primarily college campuses. Uh, we were at one point doing 100 shows a year, um, presentations of the gospel. Uh, primarily with a group called Crew, 
Um, and uh, just saw a lot of neat things happen from that. A lot of follow-up conversations that would come from those shows too. And we worked with you for a lot of years with those follow-up conversations through an app and, and right. all the different things that you were doing. Right. Yeah, we were trying to get people to continue the conversation when they left the theater. I mean, that's that was the whole point. Right. So, and I'm second was a phenomenal springboard for people to do that. Uh, it's it's just so relatable, you know. Everybody hearing each other's story. I mean, we we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I think getting people to uh, see other people's testimonies is uh, you can't argue with them. You know, they really did happen. Now, you did magic for a long time, mm -hmm. but there are different seasons in life. Right. So what's what's been happening since then? The yeah. show kind of took a detour in 2018, uh, and then COVID happened, and um, just really felt like I needed to step away from it for a little while. I've spent the last few years meditating and praying on potentially what that could look like moving forward. Um, so I'm kind of getting the itch again to maybe do another show, maybe a couple couple shows around the country. So we'll see what happens. So here we are on I Am Second Day, uh -huh. 15 years of I Am Second, yeah. which is crazy yeah. to me and probably to you. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot's gone on since that time. Mm -hmm. But what hasn't changed is that people watch our films and then they can do something about it. Right. And you've been a, a fantastic partner in that effort. Yes. And what would you say to people who have walked with I Am Second for a while, mm -hmm. enjoyed the films, how can they take a next step? Yeah, um, so, well, f first of all, I mean, I'm obviously biased. I've, I've been around a lot of uh, organizations. I Am Second obviously is one of my favorites. I think people should get behind what I Am Second's doing. Um, I've found it to be lots of leverage there, um, just with the little things I've been able to do with you guys. The easy way for people to get involved is obviously to give. That, that's, that's fantastic. If somebody watching this and, and being on I Am Second Day, if they just understand that they have a part to play in all this, they, it's important for them to get involved. They can share film. They can share films. They can, they can tell their own story yeah, to somebody. They can do their own testimonies and share it. And, um, but yeah. They could even share the gospel with somebody too. Yeah, everybody wants to hear your story. Everyone wants to hear your story. That's like the most, I mean, getting conversations started and, and telling your story is, I mean, how simple can that be? It's fantastic that you're here on I Am Second Day. There's thank you. very few people that I would rather spend oh, this day with than you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. If you've never seen Jim Monroe's white chair film, you can find it at IamSecond.com. But Jim's story didn't stop with his film. He's used it over and over through the years to help reach others for Jesus and to help find donors for people needing a bone marrow transplant like his. When we look through the lens of taking action, Jim's story is a great example of moving from viewing to doing. Yeah, Jeremy, you're right. I hope that everyone takes inspiration from Jim today. Learn your story and tell it to others because you have a story to tell. And consider supporting the work we do to bring I Am Second stories, tools, and inspiration around the world. You can make a financial donation online today at IamSecond.com to help reach more people. A gift as little as $10, like the cost of a fancy extra large copy that I tend to do, it can actually impact the lives of a thousand people or more. So not only can you share your story one-on-one, -on -one, but you can actually play a part in reaching thousands of others around the world. Thanks to all of you who've been watching this today. But remember, it's time to go from viewing to doing. See you out there.